we all know the devil we hate, Citadel, a market maker and short hedge fund with 35 to 60 billion dollars of assets under management. But what if I told you there's a bigger devil? Another market maker with over 600 billion dollars of assets under management. A market maker with deep ties to politicians, one of the largest political donors in the country. Let's talk about... <laughs> All right, guys, enough with the theatrics. I'm Tony DeNaro. I want to talk to you today about a company we do not talk about enough, Susquehanna. Susquehanna, a global quantitative trading firm. Susquehanna, a market maker in both equities and options. Susquehanna was founded by billionaire Jeffrey Yass, a man who stays out of the media spotlight. In 2018, he donated almost $4 million to the Club for Growth. In 2020, again, the Club for Growth, almost $21 million in donations. In 2020, Yass also donated over $25 million to a variety of Republican candidates. The Club for Growth is a political action committee which supported over 42 politicians. Talk about buying political influence. I want you to notice where Susquehanna is headquartered, Pennsylvania. I also want you to notice who's on the Senate Finance Committee and who happens to be from Pennsylvania. Patrick Toomey. We've heard over and over from Mark Cahotis that Patrick Toomey is going to be one of the major problem areas in dealing with these market makers, Wall Street, and the short hedge fund. Is it all starting to make sense yet? While Citadel owns 136,000 shares of AMC with 8 million puts, Susquehanna owns 238,000 shares of AMC with almost 14 million puts. Who do you think is the bigger devil that we should actually be paying attention to? The more I dig into synthetic shares, the more I come back to this story that the market makers are part of the problem. And make no mistake, Susquehanna is a market maker. Market makers have a legal exemption to create naked shorts. Yes, regulation SHO does allow market makers like Citadel and Susquehanna to create naked shorts if they are engaged in bona fide market making. One of the questions that's on a lot of our minds is, is this exemption being abused? More on that in a separate video. There's a whole nother discussion we need to have about market makers like Susquehanna or Citadel creating synthetics, creating legal naked shorts and combining them with deep in the money puts and calls. Yes, it might be legal, but is it being abused? Are market makers coordinating on the sly with hedge funds? I'm going to do a deeper dive on this topic in a separate video. Now let's bring it back to Susquehanna and options. Susquehanna is a market maker for options. You're buying options, and they're expiring worthless. When you're buying options and the Friday price gets managed down to the max pain point, you're making rich one of the biggest devils there is in this game right now. I'm bringing this up because Susquehanna needs more attention. I want more YouTubers and more Redditors covering this. It has been covered on Reddit to some extent and people dismiss it because they don't like Kenny G's face, whatever. We need to talk about market makers, we need to talk more about Susquehanna. I uh, will put a link to some of the Reddit post in the video description. Let's start talking more about Susquehanna and how the market makers play into this whole synthetic share game. I am Tony DeNaro. If you want to know more about Susquehanna, make sure you buy and hold that subscribe button so you don't miss future updates. Check me out during market hours. I live stream every day, Monday through Friday. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.